In this video, I want to show the functions of the IPS web configurator for Axis ACAP compatible cameras or encoders. First, open the camera's website. Click on Setup. Select Applications and then the application, for example, IPS Motion. Click on Configuration and click the Start button. First time you open the configuration of an application, the license agreement is displayed. Click on Accept to continue. The IPS web configurator is designed as a wizard. It guides you through the different steps of the configuration. The camera image is displayed in the working area where all the graphical configuration is done. Help text is displayed in the lower left window. Drawings in the lower right window illustrate the different steps. You may want to surveil different areas in different situations, for example during the day and at night. For this purpose you can use different profiles. To configure another profile, select it and perform all the configuration steps. To rename a profile, click on the Rename Profile button. To reset a profile to the default values, click on this button. Global parameters are specified once per camera. For details, refer to the manual available on the IPS Analytics website. In this section, the current state is displayed. Steps you have successfully passed through are marked by a green circle. As the last step, save the configuration to the camera. Then you may configure further profiles or close the browser tab. Now we are going to see how to configure IPS motion detection. Select Applications and IPS Motion. Then click on Configuration. To start, just click on the appropriate button. Next, the object sizes have to be adapted. This is performed in two steps. First, the object size in the foreground. Adapt it so that it matches the size of a person as precisely as possible. Then, do the same for the object size in the background. Adapt the detection zone so that it covers the area to be monitored. You can move points, move the zone itself, add or delete points. For instance, this is how to add a point. I further adapt the zone. And I'm finished. There are two parameters in IPS motion detection. The sensitivity level and the activity switch off delay. If the sensitivity level is set to low, fewer objects will be detected and vice versa. The activity switch off delay is the time after which an activity event and thus the activity recording is terminated. Click on save to store the configuration to the camera.